Hello all, Matacasta here, and today we're back once again in Raft, and I've been anchored at this, uh, right where we left off, at the same island, um, but I have been off camera collecting a little bit, because uh, you've already seen how that's done, and we got enough to make six dry bricks, so we should have what we need, or what we require, to build the smelter, which is exciting. Let me double check, make sure we got everything we need for that smelter, there it is. We need, well... Dry brick, that one is still, yeah, basically we got everything we need. Uh, we got one that's still wet. Once we put all this in our inventory, we shall build a smelter. And I think I'm going to put it up here because I'm going to start going up in levels, um, make this a whole level kind of and close it in once we get back out there and collecting resources again. So this is very exciting. And there it goes. They all have dried from uh, being going from wet brick to dry brick. So we'll pick these up and we'll go up here and build our smelter. This is exciting. Smelter, craft. All right, so we've got it. And how do I want this to be rotated? I'll hold R. There, there's the opening for the planks, I'm guessing. Perfect. Place plank. This is exciting because uh, now we're gonna be able to, to do a lot with the smelter. Um, research a lot of things. I think we're done here. Pretty much got everything, and there's a little bit of scrap there and a little bit of stone down there, but um, not really, no, not really anything of my concern. Nothing we really need right now. I'm excited to do the stationary anchor, too, instead of uh, wasting resources on these one-time-use throwable anchors. And let's get going. Let's rotate this out of here. There we go. We're out of here. And if I had the stationary anchor, I'd be able to get up there. But it doesn't look like there's really a whole a whole lot of stuff on these first levels. It's once you get up into those up there that it's going to get exciting. So we're going the way the wind is telling us. And I think I'm going to start smelting some stuff. I know I've got in my inventory some metal. Uh, in this one, there's scrap. But I think... Well, I know I want to do seaweed because it makes seaweed goo. And then I know I've got... Oh, metal ore right there. I've just got that in my regular inventory. Double check over here. I've got stone in there. That's really about it. And then and here's just some fish and whatnot. So yeah, we've got enough to smelt, it looks like. I believe. So let's go into our inventory here. Metal ore. I'm only guessing this is how it works. Because everything else works this way. Place metal ore. Perfect. So out of this, we should get metal ingot. And that is needed for quite a few things. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this a little bit that way so we can kind of go on a straight path so those uh, collectors down here will do their job as they're doing now. Perfect. Oh, and we got a barrel. Look at all the planks in that barrel. Fantastic. All right. Let's go see how long this... I'm curious how long this takes. For it to convert into metal ingot. Place another plank in there. And we are going... Yeah, we're a little... Kind of going a little sideways, but... Is Bruce coming for attack? Nope, he's just going on his way. I'll try to counter that a little bit. Let's see if we can go on a straight course. Let's see if we see any rafts or islands. Not seeing anything right now. Oh, nope, that's just... Probably plastic. I think he's got attack on his mind. Sure does. It's looking like Bruce isn't doing too good. So we might have some shark meat here before too long. Need some more plastic. I hope you guys are doing well. I started watching that uh, Netflix series, Evil Genius, and man, that, is that one of those, that's just one of those shows you could binge the whole thing in one sitting, but it would not be very productive if I did that. So I figured I'd pause it. As soon as I finish this, I'm going to get right back on it. If you haven't seen it yet, man, it is, it has got me, it has got me hooked, that's for sure. I want to take a second to thank you guys for watching. I definitely appreciate it. I know, you know, the, the channels, they start small. And that's what I'm doing, and I'm okay with that. It doesn't it doesn't bother me. Um, the, the, I've talked to uh, other people that uh, said they tried to start YouTube channels and just got frustrated with it. 
because uh, they weren't getting huge subs and uh, big views right off the bat. But I know these things these things grow organically, um, so I, I appreciate I appreciate you guys that watch. Definitely do. It's it's uh, it warms my heart to see new views and new subs subscribers. That means means a lot to me. So thank you guys very much. Looks like our metal ingot is done. Yes, pick up metal ingot. We'll take it over to the research table. Research it. There it is. Perfect. Been waiting for this day. <laughs> Unlocks uh, a couple of things here. Yeah, we can learn about the hinge, bolts. The oh, there it is. The stationary anchor. That's definitely gonna come in handy. We have a raft off in the distance. I think we might intercept it. We'll see. See how the because the rafts move. I learned that in the last one. The rafts do move. Kind of turn up. Oh, fell off the. <laughs> there goes a barrel too. Kind of turn toward it a little. Well, yeah. Turn turn toward it. A little bit more. And there goes Bruce. Bruce, you're not gonna make me miss this raft, bud. You've done that once before. Oh, we got dead Bruce here. We get a lot of shark meat out of that, which is great. And I'm losing my raft. I keep forgetting how much faster this thing goes when you get a sail. All right, we got it back. All right. We are getting close to this. We're going to rotate. Come on. There. Is that going to get us there? Oh, it's going away. Okay, I'm going to fold this up. So it doesn't get away from us too much. And let's see what we get off of this one. Got a lot of stuff. Hinge crate. Pick up stone. I don't, I'm don't. not going to worry about stone. Beautiful. Alright, we got to get back on our raft. It was good timing that we killed, uh, killed Bruce. Cause Got to do that, and we lost some barrels. But that's not a big deal. We got a lot, a lot of stuff in here. Just kind of enclosing this area a little bit, making a little more room up here for things that we're going to be building. I wonder if I can go any farther. Nope. I'm probably going to have to move the research table and stuff to be able to put the uh, upright pillars uh, and place them where I want them. Not a big deal though. Right now I'm just melting uh, melting down metal ore to be able to build our stationary stationary anchor. And there's Bruce. And I made a bolt, so I want to use that bolt to research with. Research that and what do we unlock? We unlocked the metal fishing rod. That's going to be really handy. The metal uh, metal hook. That's going to be nice. I heard you can throw that farther. And then the metal spear or the stone spear, metal spear. Very nice because we're about to lose lose the spear that we have. Oh, we got a barrel down here. I've also got seaweed, which I heard a read on the raft wiki that you can put in the smelter and make goo seaweed goo that's used for building i think the flippers and a couple other things i need to eat i think i got a shark steak down here or no i need to drink all right looks like we got seaweed goo i'm gonna make some more because i think that's all that seaweed's really used for i could be wrong and if i am point it out to me i will appreciate it let's see what seaweed goo does research and we've unlocked Empty bottle and the flippers. Perfect. We're so close on uh, building our stationary anchor, too. We just need one more plank, which I'm sure is right there. So let's build stationary anchor. Now, how does this work? Oh, I have to, like, put it in a hole. Or yeah, it looks like I'll have to put it, like, in the middle. Hmm. I was talking about moving this research table 
anyways. Maybe move it upstairs. Maybe move all this upstairs. Put that right there for now. It doesn't need to be anywhere specific just yet. Just so I can clear up some space down here. Should I pick that up before I move this? Probably. And then I need to move that in the inventory so we can move this. That's fine right there. Only downside is I'm going to have to run up and down to get water. But it's not a big deal. It's fine. Okay, I got the storage air things moved, and I forgot about this candle in the bottle. Completely forgot. I don't know if it does anything. If it does, please let me know. I'll just set you right there. So I don't know how to take take these out to place, because I try to place the thing, and it... Because it I'm confused. I think I have to have one of these missing. But I don't know how to get rid of it. You know what? It just hit me. Axe. I bet that's how you do it. That would, that would, hopefully. Let's see. We want to put it probably somewhere kind of in the middle-ish. Let's go like right here. Hey! <laughs> there we go. Yeah! All right. Ooh, and a barrel. Ugh. <sighs> Well, this is cool. So now you just go over here, drop anchor. Oh, that's easy. Way anchor. Fantastic. And now we got that. I want to get. Ooh, there's a tall raft out there. Let's try to get. Now well, we're kind of headed in that direction already. Kind of head over that way. Check out what's on there. That one's got the chest all the way at the top. So you know it's got to be good, right? Let's get some of this goo. It's crazy how quickly, how quickly this thing, uh, this big old raft changes directions. Here we go. Here we go. Once we're close enough, I'm going to go ahead and roll the sail up. I know it's probably easy to jump on and get back off, but just for peace of mind so the raft doesn't go sailing away. There we go. Oh, we got to get up here quick because I think these start to sink immediately. Yep. Oh, come on. I Pick up crate. Pick up, great, and let's get out of here. There was a lot of stuff in there. Hinge, stone, rope. And see, yep, there it goes. I've noticed that once you get on them, they just start to sink. So let's get back going in the direction we were headed. I need to find a... need to find an island pretty soon. Need more, more of that metal ore be able to, uh, I want to build the, uh, spear and the metal fishing rod. Island! Island! Oh, island! Ah, I keep hitting E when I'm trying to hit R. It's because you hit E so much in this game and it starts to build muscle memory. Alright, this is exciting. Got an island. Bruce, you're not going to make me miss this island. Should have ignored him because that was going to happen anyways. I couldn't get there. Didn't get there in time. All right, we're headed pretty much straight forward. It's looking like. Thought I saw something back there. Yes, I want to rotate just a little this way, maybe. Yep, yep, yep. Get down here. Get ready. Oh, this is so much nicer. I'm having to build the throwable anchor. And we are just about to touch. Boom. Put the anchor down. Ha <laughs> ha! Success. Let me gather this stuff first. I'm going to put a few things in inventory. Or in storage. Oh, I got plenty of storage in this one. Okay, we're good to go. Good to go explore. Get our axe out.
Okay, I'm not seeing any pineapples or anything down here. There, oh, never mind. Made a liar out of me, didn't they? Get this tree. Beautiful. Are we going to be able to... This is like uh, the most I've seen that you can do on a lower level. This is awesome. I'll get this one and I'll probably go back. Yep, go back and then kind of put some of the stuff in inventory and come back so I don't so I don't lose stuff and then it despawns and it's a whole thing. Okay, caught a little shut eye and I'm back at it because it was getting dark fast. Let me get back up here. Are we gonna be able to get to the top of this? We are at the top of this thing. <laughs> There's no crate, but that's still pretty cool. Go ahead and chop this guy down. Okay, we pretty much chopped down everything we can. And collected. I got found a few more pineapples. So we're good on what harvesting what's on top of the island. Now we get to go down under. Now I'd like to see if I can make those flippers. How did he do that? How's he able to do that? Seriously. I had that's a new one for me. Needs five of vine goo and six of seaweed. I've got a bunch of bunch of seaweed. Apparently I put it in one of those chests. But the flippers would be nice because then we can get we can make quick work of a, a stay you know, get in and out as quickly as we can. Where's my seaweed? There it is. So we need, we're good on seaweed, we need vine goo. See, there's the rub, because you need the seaweed to make the vine goo. But I'm sure, I mean, we're at an island, we're going to be able to jump in and grab some seaweed for sure. I'm seeing what it takes to make the breathing apparatus, the oxygen bottle, and it requires empty bottle. We only have one of those, so when we go to research it, we're going to lose it, but we'll probably find one sooner or later. And it's just a matter of remembering where I put it. I don't know where it went. It's gone. I had it. Double check these. Nope, it's gone. That's the weirdest thing. I've never seen that. I had to have dropped it somewhere. We have enough vine goo. Oh, we did have enough vine goo and enough seaweed to create flippers. Fantastic. So now we have flippers on us. I guess we just highlight or they just is it just on us at all times? Let's see. The swimming seems to be Yeah, the swimming seems to be a little faster. That's so cool you can see our rope line or our anchor line. Oh, I can make a bottle vine goo and plastic. I've got vine goo. So, I'll get to that in a second. What I want to build is the bigger grill. Oh, and I need metal ingot. And planks. Not a big deal. We'll find them here. Well, let's build that bottle. Let's get some of the vine goo wherever I put it. Oh, no, I don't have it because I used it for the flippers. All right, we got to make some more of that then. I'm going to make some shark bait. Just make life easy on ourselves. Grab this and toss it. Let's go get stuff. I know the, the, you know, the metal ore stuff is way down here. That looks like copper. It can be hidden down here sometimes, like in some of the crevices, and it's usually not up on this upper level. You know, I'm not really seeing much of anything down here. I'm going way down here, too. I think it's mostly just copper at this island. Oh, oh. Bringo. I need to get some air. Need to get some air. Need to get some air. I'm sure Bruce is done by now. No, he's, he's still over there. Let's go. Directly under the boat. 
I went around this island. And I don't see any more. You know what? I don't think I'm using the flippers because they're not going down. I think I have to have them armed and then get to where I want to down there. And then, then I can use them. Or, you know, and then that must be how it works. But Bruce is right there. Try to grab. Yeah, see, that's the difference. Well, we got all the all the metal ore. I've got a lot of copper, but we grab some more seaweed to make some more seaweed goo. I think that's really all this island has to offer us. So let's pull our anchor and get on out of here. Well, there is scrap, but I've got so much scrap. I've got like 40 pieces of scrap. We'll find scrap at the next island. And hopefully more metal, metal ore to work with. Okay, which way is the wind blowing? Kind of that way. We'll head out that way then. Goodbye, island. We're gonna have to do some serious inventory management. Probably build another another storage crate. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move that stuff back down here. The cooking stuff and the water stuff. Running up and down is, uh, especially to refill the water thing. It's taking up time. And then once you get into this part of the game, it seems like it's a lot of time management and making the most of your time. And doing what you can but guys that's going to do it for this one i appreciate you watching i really do definitely appreciate the thumbs up if you like the video give me a little love down there it really helps me out and as always really appreciate it guys and i'll see you in the next one